echo it? Well, holler. And they come out of every door. Like, what? what was that noise? I said, that was me singing. <laughs> Who's podcast? Oh, I'm serious. That just happened. Ah. Maddie, her face turned red. Who did? Was, oh, that's Maddie wonderful. went and checked out the noise, only to find out that it was, it was me. You singing? singing? They yeah. went out to yell at me, probably. They yeah. said John David's here. Yeah, he's they too loud. Yell at oh. me. Then they saw <laughs> it was you and said, "Well, I was." Oh, never mind. That's fine. I was like humming a song, and I was like, "Well, the acoustics here is kind of cool," and so I just <laughs> hollered. <laughs> Yeah. Just to you, ah. All the doors started open. Have I opened they the thought door? somebody was uh, it's in a, trouble. It's a different vibe up here. <laughs> Call 911. <laughs> Ever since they moved in these studio oh, nerds, oh, it's a different it. vibe at the at the Duck right. Commander offices. Oh, we the call church. them the studio nerds. Well, since mm-hmm. I well. see the clock running, welcome, folks, to the podcast. <laughs> and oh, we didn't even know he started. Yeah. yeah. And we've got a guest, my nephew, Jason Robertson. Yeah. Phil's one of Phil's sons. You can call me Jace. Can I call him Jace? <laughs> Forever. <laughs> I don't care. Right. Well, what have you been killing or catching? I love it. Hold hey, on, hold I, on. I, before hold we on. go right. further, Jace, I just need you to know this is number 300. Episode number 300. That is the first time Cy has ever done the introduction to this. <laughs> so either he wants you to talk, he's intimidated by you, you're, you've got him nervous, or we actually just hey, maybe he's just hey, really excited. For 300, hey, hey. we just wanted the fight to finally hey, happen no, on camera. The, the, the deal about that is it's none of the list. Okay. None I'm of not the list. intimidating. I'm not. Yeah. Oh, I just. You're, you know? He had. It's like the guy that ran for president. <laughs> yeah. None of the above. None of the above. None of the above. It's, it's, well, but, thank you. That's that's interesting that he would do that. I like this. This well, is fun. I, you know, this has already started fun. So was that in the theme of that? There wasn't there a movie something three hundred. They were the last survivors. Yeah, or? we figured this is going to be like the Battle of Sparta yeah. with you two face to face, since he basically says. He killed You're all full of, of bull, and you know. Hey, but I mean. the other day, I had to tell you this. <laughs> I went for a deer hunt with Jay. Yeah. Okay, we're sitting on what we call a corridor. Yeah. Look, and it's a light, drizzling rain. We're deer hunting. Got and, it. Hey, I've seen, tw- I've seen 25 squirrels. 25? 25. I counted them. Do you have your glasses on? Uh, yeah. Oh. No, I don't need them anymore, son. I got, fi- I got that fixed. But look. It was it both cat squirrels and fox squirrels, and that's on Phil's property. I hadn't seen. I was shocked. I hadn't seen twenty five squirrels down there the whole time we've lived here. I yeah. hadn't seen twenty five squirrels, but I seen them the other day. I mean, every time I look around, there be there's two, there's three, there's so going one. So I was still angry because I went squirrel hunting and killed seven squirrels, and I wouldn't tell and him. And he won't tell me where he where went to him. do it. What? This is a personal <laughs> thing that keeps <laughs> okay. coming oh, up. Every I know time where. I, how long ago was this? Not oh, long. Uh, not long. Say, cut, I know where he hunted. Ago. Okay, the man lives in a gated community. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's one okay. gate, and the community okay. is like seven yeah. houses. Okay, and there's he's a getting lot. them neighborhood squirrels. Oh, no, no. oh yeah, and there is a lot of oak trees in this neighborhood. Okay, and nowadays they've got a little thing that you can put on a twenty two rifle. Oh, that all it says is. That's that's all you, that's all is you, even if no. he is, he ain't. Li- he don't live well, in the hey, city he limits. Owns a so house in it. He, he don't a- live in the city limits. Yeah. So fire it will. Well, I'm not. Know. I'm not breaking any laws. He ain't breaking any laws. But I'm just saying that's where he. He's got a sweet spot. Okay. He ain't gonna tell me about. Well, it. I mean, you act like that's a problem. You used well, to shoot him off the porch at Phil and K's without a suppressor with us and the duck call. Well, hey. So. <laughs> and like, then, man, hey, man's got. And all of a sudden, you'd do. hear. Yeah, he'd hit the tin roof above our heads. Oh, no, like, no, no. They in there putting those, like, kick, 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 and you'd hear thud. Yeah. Then yeah. you'd hear bam, and that's the ladder going on on the top of the, you know, leaning against the building, and I'd climb up there and get my squirrel off the top of the, the building. <laughs> True. But you're mad at Jace for neighborhood well, squirrels? Well, he don't tell me where his sweet spots are, because, hey, everybody it, knows my favorite wild game is a tree rat. I invited him. Tell him that. I, well, I, now he did, but he was I, real nice. Okay? I invited him to eat. Because he knows it's my favorite. Okay. Yeah. So he did say, hey, look, I killed seven the other morning, and we're fixing to have them. They're, you know, half and half, old and young. So, hey, we're just going to put them in a, in a pot and throw some dumplings in there with them. Yeah, we're going to. Okay. Mrs. Mrs. K's dumplings. I like okay. it. Miss K's recipe. So, yeah, yeah. So we had, uh, you know. So that took the sting out of it. A little bit. Do neighborhood squirrels taste better than wild squirrels? Do what? (laughs) 
I just got to fix it. Yeah. I, I grew up on that street, and those squirrels were very was, safe. Hey, I, if, if I had a bunch of I was wondering, squirrels. but I would say, because I, I would know, I would say they taste exactly the same. Okay. I, I was kind well, of Well, I, I figured they might taste it even a little better because they feed them corn and everything else. Y'all, those those squirrels got to be relaxed. Hey, yeah. Plus, y'all. Yeah, a buddy of mine had one, and hey, look, I'm telling you, when I walked in his house, he's got a cage, and I thought it was a baby fox. <laughs> oh, no, Lord. no, I'm serious. This squirrel weighed 15 pounds. Oh, my goodness. Hey, and hey, I'll put my hand on the Bible on that, okay? Well, I have a oh, Bible I, here. I, I, I don't want you to touch it because I want you to make it to heaven. Well, no, no, because hey, I was and, he, hey, and he'd hate to tarnish his Bible, hey, no, no, too. No, no, he we'll believes it. So we'll oh, ain't tarnished. no way a 15-pound so squirrel. This man, look, this, this buddy of mine, he fed that squirrel everything. You know, I mean, he, the squirrel ate Snickers, for crying out loud, because it had peanuts in it. It was a raccoon. No, 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 no. I'm telling you, look, and look, he had his he had his cage hooked to the window where the squirrel had a little rotating door that he could go in and out, you know. Oh, man. You know, so I walked in, and he, he was out in a tree, and I looked, and I said, what is a baby fox doing up in a tree? It was a marmot. <laughs> How are we 300 episodes Three. in and I'm just now hearing this one? Well, I, I looked it up on the internet, the largest squirrel ever. And look, you know what the first thing that came up what? was a picture of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I invited you. That's a good one, boy. I got to give you. I got to tell you. Hey, ain't no Tommy Topper on this one, baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I had actually done that, so I was waiting for you to say what it said. <laughs> well, hey, I like it. You can't spell squirrel without SI. And look, I, hey, Uncle Si looks like a squirrel. Well, you dressed up as one <laughs> that one time. Wasn't that a squirrel or was that a beaver? You dressed up as something on Duck Dynasty. Oh, I hey, don't even remember. I've done so much on Duck Dynasty, I couldn't tell you. Oh, man, alive. Uh, you know, I like to get shot because I was acting like a turkey. <laughs> what? Oh, when him and Jason went turkey yeah. hunting. <laughs> that was, I had, I had that turkey. was dangerous. There's yeah, a thin I, line between yeah. becoming the hunter and the hunted. The hunted. <laughs> <laughs> oh so, my goodness gracious well oh. jace it is good to have you I, I i do like that you carry on your dad's tradition of not giving up your hot holes that's that's pretty good that's, yeah. that's, well ever since my mom got so angry i mean so si was hunting off the front porch i mean it oh just hey infuriated look, her i killed four or five limits off of the porch yeah oh i'm aware because we ate them all oh hey yeah but after you left my mom, your sister-in-law, walked in the field and said, "Well, a few times she got kind of hostile with me when she, I came in." She about said, four "It's four me times. or your brother." <laughs> no, right. Tell him to quit killing my pet hey, squirrels. And what Phil say? Well, it's been nice knowing you, darling. <laughs> <laughs> so you think in a battle of choosing, you'd win over Kay? <laughs> no, no, Phil <laughs> told him, said, "Hey, no. si, lay off the lay squirrels. Off the squirrels Go son. find somewhere else to I'll hunt." Put your twenty-two up when you're at my house. So huh? how's uh, how's duck season been? Duck good. season, the first, I would say, uh, eight or ten days. It was good. It was, yeah. we were smoking them, mainly gadwalls and teal, which was unusual. I mean, you our hole is usually Big wood decks and, and mallards, yeah. yeah. And this was all gadwalls and teal, which was fun. I love eating the green wing teal. And I got a guy who loves eating gadwalls. So it works out great. Right, that's a great. That's not, that, can I get his number? He gets to get uh, He's not 400 <laughs> yards from here over at that hardware store. And look, he does a dance every time I pull up. And look, his favorite ducks. Here's his top three. Shovelers, blue wing teal, and gadwalls. Well, boy, do I have something for him. Oh, yeah. Because that's all we've been yeah, killing. You got the setup for him, man. I asked him last time. I said, have you ever had your palate tested? Yeah. He said, would you call me? Yeah, <laughs> I, I, think I, he, I think he burned oh. his tongue as a young youth, and they never come back. <laughs> I know some kids like him; they eat garballs. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm not making this up. Oh no, he, we had he this. loves the mustiness of duck. He loves that. My buddy Barrett convinced me they were good to eat, and I said, "There's no way," because he does. He stinks when he's alive, oh, which ooh. breaks like rule oh, number fourteen stink. of things you eat in Louisiana. Yeah. Mm. If Whoa. it stinks while it's alive and functional, yeah. That's out. It ain't getting better. So he oh. goes and and I don't know you know where he got the spoon bill, but he <laughs> he has this chef, professional chef, smoke it 
and he wrapped it up and overnighted it to me in a little ice chest. And we, this was last duck season when I get it. We break it up. When I opened that ice chest, though, the smell hit me. Phil said, I ain't doing it. Foul odor. I, he wanted us all to try. Yeah, foul odor. And I took a bite of that because he claimed it was good. Oh, no. Terrible. Made, yeah. me, made me gag. No. Nope. Uh, that's somebody who's raised in South Kansas, man. Right. You can't, I just, you can't uh, go off you know, that palate. Yeah, he, he People just. People are weird. He's too far away from good food. No, it just means he thought if you put enough smoke on anything, it it would just taste smoky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, no, that's like hey, that was like the garballs. I was uh, watching them when they was eating it, and when they bit into it, it's kind of like crab cake. It starts falling all apart. And it there was, was not a lot good. of onions, a lot of garlic. Yeah, my truck still smells okay. like it from driving those kids over here. Oh no! In a shocking okay, turn they, of events, Goblin ate yeah. three of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Crushed them. Crushed them. <laughs> well, I can hear him now. <laughs> hey, what? Hey, what? Hey, man. <laughs> oh man, alive. Well, oh. let's take a break. We yeah. we don't got into this thing. We'll be back right after this. Look, man, it, we could all stand to learn more. You need to learn more. I, I need to learn more. Cy si needs to learn yep. more. Everybody could. And you know, it's way more valuable if you were to check out our folks over at Hillsdale College than binge watching the Kardashians or some other TV show. I mean, you can take time to actually learn where this country come from. Like, you can learn. Maybe you need to brush up on it. Maybe you got young kids and you're like me and you're staring down the barrel of, man, they're going to be asking questions in a few years. I don't want to seem not as smart as them. So, you know, I mean, it's just one of those. Are you deals. smarter than a fifth grader? You can be with hillsdale.edu slash duck. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. So, I mean, if you're looking for something to do to kill some time, it's the winter months. Um, you know, it's going to be caught inside doing a lot of things. Check out Hillsdale College. They've got college level courses for you absolutely free. And there's more than 40 to choose from. And they're on important and enduring subjects. You can learn about the works of C.S. Lewis, the stories in the book of Genesis, the meaning of the U.S. Constitution, the rise and fall of the Roman Republic, or the history of the ancient Christian church with Hillsdale's College's online courses, all available for free. That's right, for free. Look, we recommend that you sign up for the Constitution 101, the meaning and history of the U.S. Constitution, because in that 12-lecture course, you'll explore the design and purpose of the Constitution the challenge it faced during the Civil War, and how it's been undermined for more than a century by progressivism and liberalism. The course is self-paced so that you can start whenever and wherever, so you can enroll now in Constitution 101. Our country needs more Americans who understand the Constitution and can defend the freedom of the American people against the encroachments of an increasingly large and unaccountable government. Look, and if the Constitution isn't for you, if you're like, man, that's not, there's 40 other options there. They even got one in chemistry, which, to be honest, I probably need to brush back up on some chemistry because I didn't do so well in that one in my biology major. So uh, my mind doesn't really think that way. So there look, you go. Martin, they're all right here. Look, Charles Dickens, a Christmas Oh, Carol. look, they got one on brand for Christmas. The, there you go. The great principles of chemistry. You talked about that one. The great American story, a land of hope. This is America, people, and I love it. The Second World War. Also to do with America. How to Lead a Good Life by Aristotle. I mean, come on. Is that on there? Yeah, it's above that one. It's above uh, Jane Austen. Now, I, Look, there's tons of stuff out here. All you have to do is go right now to hillsdale.edu slash duck to enroll. There's no cost and it's easy to get started. That's hillsdale.edu slash duck to register. Hillsdale.edu slash duck. I never finished my duck season report. I oh, you I, you never finish a story luck. on here. Not with sitting across. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of things that never get finished. Yeah, he's a pirate. It's a start. <laughs> it's a start. And then somebody says something, and we. Hey, well, I'm yeah. saying I want to tell the Jay story. When uh, we, are we back rolling? Yeah, yeah we're back, you tell the story. We're back rolling. You just have to so, remember your your <laughs> your uncle is a story pirate, so it may take you the full fifty minutes to get. Yeah, because get so in the middle all, of this, he'll go. That reminds me. <laughs> so yeah. there I was eight minutes ago telling you about the duck. <laughs> season it started off like a house of fire and then all of a sudden they left all that's left now, is the smoke now i don't know if it was the full moon that the full moon happened at the same time we don't have much water no, no. and then it just turned into a ghost town i mean it was like one two zero one and then all of a sudden we had a special day and i, I was hoping jay would be here and i can't believe he hadn't told you about this because when this happened 
I wasn't sure that it, we were going to get his head to fit in the four wheeler on the way back. I thought he's got to ride in the back. Oh, Stone? It was legendary. The man had a legendary day. To my knowledge, I don't believe I've ever seen this happen. And I've been duck hunting since I was eight years old. Somebody did the math because I hunt about 70 to 75 days a year on average since I was eight. So we're talking 4,000 duck hunts if you throw in a few evenings where I hunted twice in one day. I've never seen this before. So we go out there not thinking we're going to shoot any ducks because we had three or four days in a row. A wood duck comes over five minutes, you know, after legal shooting hours has begun. I think my dad, poop, one shot, perfect fold, hit the water. And I think Jay's the one said, well, that was it. I hope y'all enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> so he was right. Nothing else happened. Until about 8.30, we had seen one Mallard Drake, one Teal, and two Gadwalls, and a Smither and a Woodies. That's all we had seen. Mm -hmm. Not We had one and wood Only duck. one shot. There's been one shot fire. Yeah. So I said, well, look, I'm going to go get the boat because the water's low, and we have to park. I have to drop everybody off because some of our members of our party... <laughs> Old know, age is it's basically in. yeah we're running some kind of uber no. blind service here <laughs> dropping people off taking the boat back bringing the p-row back yeah hey, this is the lame blind and deaf <laughs> thank you sir i wasn't gonna say it but that's <laughs> true this is the, this is the new aarp <laughs> yeah. club, so right. it's a workhouse yeah. to go yeah. back and get the boat <laughs> this is how you could think well where did we come from probably a nursing home <laughs> yeah <laughs> you're helping everybody up you got rails on the steps and you know it's <laughs> We're thinking about just making it where it's wheelchair uh, <laughs> friendly. You know, yeah, right, I mean, that's really, because right, that's, right, right. that's, that's where we're headed. That's where we're headed. That's right. Everybody going to have one a size machine. So we got <laughs> fucking Knox. So, so at 830, we've now moved on to, because here's Phil. I mean, look, we have one wood duck, and this is day four. We have, we're averaging one a day the last four days. And Phil said, well, where are we headed tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, where are we going tomorrow? <laughs> well, I'm looking around like, well, this is the only water we got. And he starts naming the possible spots we, we can go, which are all visible to me right now. <laughs> looking, looking, like, well, if we move 200 yards over there, pretty sure the we're same thing. Yeah, we're probably yeah. going to see the same thing we saw this morning. Yeah. So I said, well, look, there's one hole I can't see. It's behind the blind. It's Three or four hundred yards. So let me go check it out. I said, let me slip over there right and it. check it out. So I take my gun just because that's what you do. Hunting season is open. I go back there. It takes me 30 minutes. I slip back there. I'm trying to peer through the brush, and I look up, and I say, I know what that is. I see a green head. But I looked around, and that's the only one I saw. Well, about that time, I was figuring, because he was a little bit out of range, because if it would have been a bunch of them, I would have slipped out and said, well, let's go hunt here. Yeah. We got a bunch oh. of mallards. But I remembered, oh, we saw a mallard drake earlier today. I found him. Yeah. He's right here. Yeah, he's right here. So the then I went into, I'm fixed to shoot this mallard drake. <laughs> so about the time I made that decision, he saw me. Because I'm just, I'm standing in some brush, but I could tell he saw me. Yeah. And so instead of getting up and flying, which is what he should have done, he just started swimming the opposite direction. So I just took off running because now I thought, well, maybe that's something wrong with him. Or maybe right. it's one we shot earlier in the year and he's crippled. I mean, so I just took off running out of the brush <laughs> and he just started swimming faster. And I was like, well, there's definitely something wrong with him. And then he was like, wait a minute, he's gaining ground. He just jumped up. There was nothing wrong with him and started flying. But he had just got into range where I thought, I think I can, I can, I, I can take yeah. him. So I, big lead. I was bearing down like, you know, I was deer hunting. I mean, this is my one chance. Boom. And it was 1,001, 1,000. Poop. He, fold. he just folded. And I was like, Hoo! I let out a <laughs> vocal. I got him. <laughs> well, when I shot, I heard some ducks get up. And so as I'm going to get this Mallard Drake, I hear, because I can hear them shoot now. All of a sudden I hear, boom, I hear one shot. I was like, well, they, they might have got something. Well, then a little later, boom, I hear another shot. A little later, boom, 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 I hear three shots. And then I hear, boom, I hear another shot. So I thought, well, maybe they killed a couple. I mean, maybe 
Maybe some came in. Maybe I spooked some. I didn't know what happened. So I go back, get the boat. Well, I pull up there, and there's a pile of ducks. <laughs> they got a pile of ducks, and they're all grinning, you know, and high-fiving. And I'm like, what happened? And they're like, what? It, when you went in there, it would be like one teal would come out, and Jay was standing on my side of the blind, which was the one teal we saw earlier. And Jay just, boom. Which is where they come in. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. That direction. Three gadwalls came yeah. over, and, and Jay went boom, boom, and my dad, boom, shot the other. But there was no misses. And then uh, a, a single Woody come by, Jay, boom. Then two Woodies came by, the last shot I heard, and Jay raised up one shot, boom, both, both of, of them. Both folded. Dad folded. Well, then it occurred to me that we, we had only seen – five or six ducks that wasn't a wood duck we now have nine ducks and we've only shot eight times <laughs> and jay has his limit three gadwalls two woodies i mean and uh, a two, two, two gadwalls three woodies and a teal and he's only shot five times oh stone he was like boys i shot five oh times. i got mine and I killed six ducks <laughs> yeah y'all have fun and we only saw jay said and we only saw Total twelve ducks fly by. We got nine of them. Yeah, that's so pretty tomorrow accurate. we're looking <laughs> no, forward. We're looking forward to three, three killing all. We three got of three them. that we might get a shot at. <laughs> now the field was hey, well where are we going? Yeah. Well, I can't believe Jay didn't tell you all that story. Uh -uh. Well, he ain't been here. Cause look, everybody we saw in between there, the layer Phil's house, <laughs> and how, he told the story. Well, I saved a shell today. That's a good thing he ain't got social media. I only media shot then. five times, but I did kill my limit. That's impressive. That happened. Which is I, impressive. I told him, I said, that's legendary. Oh. You need to just quit. <laughs> so, hey, uh, you, can do worse, you, you can up. do worse than that tomorrow. Yeah, hey, put your anyway. gun up. Me and you will go deer hunt. Yeah. So the split ended, and I was glad. And yeah, me so too. Now we got two weeks. We got so desperate. Saturday, we went and shot jacks in the rain. Ooh. Really? That's desperate. Oh, that's oh, that's fun. It's Never, fun, but you, it was desperate. Have you figured out how to eat them? No. Well, I got it. No. Well, I, I got. <laughs> you got it. Hey, I got the recipe for that. Oh, don't know. You can buy. You can buy it. Oh. Oven, cedar board, eat the board. Oh, yeah. Throw yeah, the duck out and eat the board. Yeah, we know. So you've told us that like well, twenty-seven hey, look, times. But what you hey, do is story. you you camouflage them in amongst other ducks, and you you deliver them. You don't give somebody a load of jacks. That's yeah. mean. <laughs> yeah, you can't. But you put you a couple of breasts in there amongst some gads and some teal, and they're like, boy, that one was a little off. <laughs> kind of like they, a they rotten, just, they yeah, just, it's like a rotten egg. Yeah. If you got 12 eggs from somebody and yeah. one of them was rotten, you wouldn't feel too bad. You'd yeah. just say, oh. Like, no, oh, man, they, they, had a bad, they had a bad one. <laughs> they had a bad one. Hey, yeah. one out of a dozen. Hey. Problem is you can't give you got to keep a track of in your mind who you gave them to that way you don't hit them again and then they start judging you so exactly. you know That's or then they say no the next time yeah because so. when you start handing them out they say wait a minute oh, oh you take these three back yeah it's kind of like I an got Easter them egg last hunt. time and they ain't no good yeah it's like an Easter yeah. egg hunt yeah I gave some of them to the boys that put Christmas lights on my house so there you go mm -hmm. there you go they ah, they ah. were happy to have them. How's your gut, JD? How's my gut? My gut's feeling great. My life is feeling great. I'm a very nutritious human being. And why do you say that? Because I'm just a regular guy who wakes up every day and drinks AG1. That's how I start my day, Si. Yep. That's and the I, way to do it. You start it with 75 different minerals, vitamins, whatever the else your body They needs. got everything in there because it's made by people way smarter than me and Si. So look, if you're looking for a way to get healthier this is the easiest way to do it in under a minute. Drink AG1. AG1 is a foundational nutrition supplement that supports your body's universal needs like gut optimization, stress management, and immune support. Since 2010, AG1 has led the future of foundational nutrition, continuously refining their formula to create a smarter, better way to elevate your baseline health. Not only does it replace all the pills and supplements and multivitamins, but with AG1, every scoop includes prebiotics and probiotics and digestive enzymes for gut support, Vitamin C and zinc to help support your immune health. Adaptogens to help b balance your body's stress levels. It's got all you need right there in one scoop. And it's all for less than a cup of coffee. Look, I recommend drinking AG1 to everybody I know, including all the listeners out there, because AG1 has a team of doctors and scientists that has tested for 950 contaminants and is NSF certified for sport. Look, 
A bunch of professional athletes are taking it. It's good enough for you. It's good enough for me. We're just regular guys trying to be healthier. So, look, America's favorite uh, couple, Christian and Sadie Huff, they're drinking this stuff all the time. Sadie always posts in videos of her drinking it. She loves it. And if you want to be healthy like Christian, that's what he does every morning, so that's why I'm doing it. AG1 is the supplement I trust to provide the support my body needs daily, and that's why they've been a partner for so long. If you want to take ownership over your health, it starts with AG1. Try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D3, K2, and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. Go to drinkag1.com slash duck. That's drinkag1.com slash duck. And get you one scoop. Check it out. One scoop will do it. Uh, one scoop will do it. My wife came in like a whirlwind and just because she every season she has all the decorations. We've already fought and <laughs> lost the battle of I'm ever doing this. I mean, I, I used to help out a little bit till I fell off the roof. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm and, out. Ha, have, have you seen my roof? You Hold fell on. off your that's roof? A good oh, reason. I, I went sliding down. Oh, no. That's Left or reason. right side? That's a good reason you do not put lights on. One, my garage. If you pulled into my garage, I, that pavement right there, mm -hmm. I hit right there. That's, mm. that's Which high. Was not so. That's high. Yeah. <laughs> mm. So I got up there and I said, "Okay." After, I mean, I checked all my vitals, which I surprisingly, I, it, I, I mean, there was no major injury, but I just told her, I was like, "If you want somebody to do this, call them. Because I'm out." He's I got man. a guy. Well, she she Cost usually six calls mallards somebody. and one jack. Yeah. <laughs> so now she calls somebody to do the dangerous things, but she puts the interior. And what what I'm fascinated with is where was all this stuff before? <laughs> Hobby Lobby. <laughs> it just I, showed up. Well, I mean, she'd had to have eighteen wheeler to go to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> I, I, I think she got it from the premises. <laughs> Our premise. You, oh, you think she found it? No, I just think she's hoarding it somewhere. I have no, no idea because I hadn't run across yeah. 17 boxes that Say really Christmas. a grown man can't even haul. <laughs> you know what I mean? Dragging them in. Did, uh, you that's seen. not just at my house. It's like, hey, can you put yeah. the Christmas stuff upstairs after Christmas? And it's like, no, no, I actually can't. You've, you've made it too heavy exactly. to lift. Mm -hmm. Same thing. And it's then you got to drag it downstairs the next year. Oh, yeah, November. Wow. Brittany will say, can you go up there and get them Christmas decorations? Just a couple of boxes. Why don't they just put it in more boxes? How do they? Well, no. How do they breed during the summertime? Because it's always oh, really? more than That's two. I'm, I'm like, yeah. see, you've been married how long? Almost ten years. Yeah. yeah. So when you get to where I'm at, thirty three, I say call somebody. <laughs> call somebody. I don't touch it. We we have an arrangement and we're fine with it now. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> but I, I did look last night and say, wow. <laughs> 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 where, I mean, where was all this at i just couldn't believe it i mean trees and she basically him and one uh, her and one girl did the whole thing in i'd say six hours that's incredible so we did a weird thing sinai so you know it's the christmas season oh yeah so we actually filmed a christmas episode oh wow. at, at my place in outside of nashville and What's crazy is like, you know, we're not actors. I mean, I guess everybody's figured that out. Yeah. So it's like. Well, he may be. But. So the the <laughs> the TV people came to him and they're like, you know, they want to do a, a Christmas special. And I was like, well, look, duck season is open during Christmas. I usually don't like to be filming in the heart of ducks. They were like, well, no, you have to film it right before Christmas so you can have it air at Christmas, because we have time to edit. I was like, that makes sense. Okay, all right. Well, let's so let's have Christmas. So so we did, and so it's coming out December the seventeenth on Fox News. Uh, I'm gonna need to watch that. Are, are you in it? Why are you saying, you're in it. No, no. But I'm telling you, yeah. I've got to watch it because uh, all the people that filmed it have said, yeah. "Hey, it's so so good, so good." Well, that's gonna it be is. like the seventh episode of anything you've been in that you've ever watched. Uh, Outside the first six season premieres, well, of I want to because, like I said, okay, he's talking about it. I don't remember. Yeah, because most of our treasure hunting shows, <laughs> he said, uh, he I don't said remember I doing watch it because I don't remember yeah, doing, I don't it. Remember doing it. <laughs> well, they <laughs> just decided to make this a special. It's it's called Duck Family Christmas. Probably because and, they didn't tell me anything about. Okay, this filming is we're gonna make a special 
Christmas. Yeah, we just had Christmas. Yeah, and and we did it. And you know, I look, was just I showed up and did something, and I don't even know. What well, I here's did. what's funny about this. Right. So we did that in four days, and this is how your mind works. The after we got back, I was in the grocery store, and somebody said something, and I went Happy New Year, and. <laughs> They looked at me look kind of funny, <laughs> and then I realized <laughs> it ain't even coming back close yet. Christmas yeah, we ain't nowhere been. near. And I was like, "Well, when it comes, yeah, yeah, yeah. have a yeah. good day." I'm just yeah. practicing. Incentive, yeah. And I realized in my mind, <laughs> I known. just experienced Christmas. Yeah. I just wish somebody Happy New Year. So I mean, it does play tricks on your mind. <laughs> but what I, I'm excited about, I mean, the reason I'm excited about it is because they just said, "Y'all do what y'all do." And whatever that is. And so we kind of focused on our family because we had a good time. And we focused on Jesus because really to us, that's what Christmas is about. Well, I was fixed that because the, the, what got me is all the film crew was saying how good a deal Missy did. Yeah. When she did her little part. So at the end, we kind of, you know, what, is, what does Christmas mean to you? And they interviewed uh, Missy and they interviewed me. Well, Missy and I, we didn't. We didn't like consult before. I mean, the only thing I gave, they asked me to do a little one minute speech before we had the meal. And so I told Missy, I said, what do you think about this? And she said, well, why don't you just, and then whatever she said, I said, well, that's way better than what I was going to say. So I, you know, I just used what she just, yeah. <laughs> she inspired me. Yeah. I was like, yeah. and I'm that, was, use it. that was way better. Yeah. And she's like, well, Hey, we're one on this thing. So, but I was really impressed. I watched it. I was it was it was kind of moving. I thought. Uh, but I mean, it's a lot of fun and family stuff getting there. And we did you know a Christmas podcast with Sai. That was fun. It was because Sai just ha he look if you put him in the green and red, he looks like an elf. You mm -hmm. know? No, no, hey, for sure. That's funny that you said this because last night, guess where me and Philip were? We I'm, went to Laurel, Mississippi. I'm dressed up as an elf in the green and the red. Philip is Santa Claus. Really? Okay. Oh yeah. And the whole time we're doing this, he's putting on he puts on the big baggy pants, and he's yeah. got a t shirt on. And he walks walks in between. I'm in a room. Mm -hmm. The doors open. He walks through with a goofy look on his face. I bust out laughing. So he does this till he gets fully dressed with the beard, the hair, the eyelashes. Okay. This is Philip doing this. Yeah, yeah. And you're his elf. Huh? I'm the elf. Who's your agent? Huh? Well, no, all no, right, no. we'll talk about that. No, no. no. Was, have you heard about the crematorium? Huh? No, I, I haven't. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I can't believe you did this last night. Well, oh, no, yeah. no, because I've been uh, for since free then, since yeah. then. I've been telling everybody, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and they like you told me they go. Yeah, yeah. We we've they, already they, done Christmas. First thing they do, they look and they said, "It's only the fifth. Well, I said, "Well, oh, I, I'm sorry." Yeah, I well, mean, at I least we're in December. Park. Jace did that in August. So. <laughs> well, no, we no, didn't. No. Well, I'm just saying, hey, you just, you know, you get into the mood. Yeah, you get uh, into the mood, it's right. I mean, I'm for singing the, Christmas songs. Yeah. And, for the first time ever, Santa had to play second fiddle to the elf last night. <laughs> yeah, which, for sure. I mean, Philip was just there for moral support. So what did y'all uh, do it for? I mean, uh, for uh, Jen, Jenna's company, okay? It's, oh, okay. Uh, her husband uh, had cancer. Okay. You know, the guys that own the uh, Belize Hotel, the island. Yeah. Uh, resort. You know, so she they own an island? Uh, <laughs> they own the well, Belize. Yeah. Oh. It's some Ramon's Village is mm. the name of the, the resort. Yeah. And last night I found out, hey, they won seven awards, best resort, best staff, best food, you know, all this stuff. In all of Belize or in all of Mississippi? No, Belize. That seems tough. That's, they they live in Laurel, Mississippi. Okay. Wow. And then the spirit of Christmas, they had y'all come over there and bring some yeah. cheer. Yeah. And you agreed to do it. And I well, that was really this nice. This dude goes that. everywhere. Oh, I know. He had a meet and greet at a crematorium. That's a true statement. Hmm. 100%. Yeah. yeah. You were planning on having twins? No, well, I mean, did it cost twice as much? It did. No, actually, it's a bogo. <laughs> it was, I that was the gynecologist hey, term, not mine. Hey, so, them NICU bills, those weren't now, you weren't ready for that. Now the NICU, that was that was legit. That was uh, they dingy on those pretty good. But you know, if at the time we'd have had some married ministries, it wouldn't have been quite so bad. But 
We didn't. We didn't know about it. But hey, now you, anybody can get hit by an unexpected medical bill. That is yeah. true. But We've all been there. I would honestly say, aren't most medical bills unexpected? You don't plan on them, you, and you don't want them. Yeah, you generally are not like, you know what? I think this year I'm going to have half my lower intestines removed. Nobody says that. Like, mm. that's just not part of it. But it does happen. And look, we're at the time of year where you may be thinking about Man, what if that happens in 2024 and going forward for my family? And if you do, if you are, before you make a final decision, here's some reasons you should take a look at healthcare sharing with our friends at Samaritan Ministries. With Samaritan Ministries, you're a part of a Christian community. When you have a medical need, fellow members send money directly to you to help pay your medical bills. And you'll do the same for them all by praying for and encouraging one another. There's no network, so therefore you can choose whatever doctor, treatment, whatever you feel works for your family. You have control again. And that's what Samaritan Ministries offers. And you you can start today. Start healthcare sharing with Samaritan Ministries the day you complete your membership application or choose what month you'd like to start. Totally up to you. It's not insurance. It's assurance that you're part of a healthcare sharing community. Samaritan Ministries is a biblical solution to healthcare where we can bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. And it could be more affordable than what you're paying now. So whether it's a broken bone, unexpected diagnosis, or other medical emergency, you'll find comfort knowing you're connected to 80,000 Christian households across the nation who stand ready to care for one another spiritually and financially during a time that it's needed most. Become part of this community today at SamaritanMinistries.org slash duck. duck. That's SamaritanMinistries.org slash duck. Join today. Yeah, they how, the, how'd they, that go? They put the uh, ad in the obituary. Well, no, no. When I look, when he told me, <laughs> the first thing I said, true. This, look, this, true is all, story. this is all first verified. Thing, hey, the first were thing you speaking I said, after they were cremated or before? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get in there. First thing I asked when I got there, I said, "Hey, what flavor ice cream y'all got?" Yeah, you know, I thought it was ice cream joint. Yeah. Philip said, no. Something about urns make yeah. you think of ice cream. Well, I'm just saying, hey, crematorium. They, they said crematorium. I thought. Oh, was, well, he I thought he was cream. going to the Bluebell factory, and they they're just setting <laughs> bodies on fire. Yeah. He didn't know it was the exact opposite of a place with frozen trees. He said we hadn't quite come up with the what we how we want to market it. Your yours. And I said, well, wait a minute, oh, dude. I no, I ain't. That's no. what you need to do. You do it. That's your next TV show. What crematorium? Yeah, just ma- no. I don't know. It sound I would watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I told him we'd get him a teacup. That's put got, the remains in. What is it? Ghoulish? <laughs> ghoulish? Is that that the word I'm looking for? Ghoulish? Yeah, ghoulish. Yeah, that's real ghoulish. Well, it is. You know, it's kind of it's kind of strange. Okay. Well, it fits. it's different. It's very on brand yeah. for you, though. Well, hey, it's a cheap way. Okay, because, hey. Oh, you talking about being cremated? Yeah. Oh, well, oh I'm in on that. Well, yeah. no, no. Well, when you're dead, do you really care what happens? Thank you. Well, I mean, I know that. But yeah. I just, you know, my wife said, hey, I want you to cremate. I said, darling, I can't do that. Yeah. I, I said, I can't just, I can't, you know, I, I can't picture you and me putting a torch to you. <laughs> well, you don't have to do it yourself. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm just. You I mean, know a guy that can I, do it. Yeah. yeah. I get no. it. There's something that feels a little weird. I mean, my dad told me a long time ago, he's like, no, look. This is not going to be popular, Jace. But when I move on, pass on, he said, I want you just to put me in a box and just go bury me out in the in middle the of the woods. Don't tell anybody. That's why Kate said, what am, you th- what am I doing here? I'm looking for my husband. He's so out here somewhere. My response was, I said, Phil, I'm pretty sure that's against the law. Yeah. He said, is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think this day and age, I don't think we yeah. can just go pick yeah. a spot out there yeah. on, hey, on the hell hole right. and put you down. He right. said, well. I mean, just make sure nobody follows you. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm in this weird situation hey, that now me, that hey. he's much older, and I'm like, you know, this is going to happen one day, and I'm like, All right, son. is that still a deal? Or, you <laughs> hey, know I mean? Do you I, even want to bring it up? I know. I just think I'm just not, because what, what what can he do? He's I, dead, you know. I can hear this, <laughs> I can hear this father son talk. Hey, your name, they call you Slick Jace. Hey, don't let him catch you. Just he wasn't him. kidding. He was dead yeah, serious. He's like, I don't look. want you to bury me in a... In a oh, no. Yeah. Phil would be happiest yeah. on on the dog. Put me, on, on he said, put me in a box a and just bury yeah. me. He said, don't tell anybody. Yeah. Don't tell anybody. I don't He's know. That's what he said. So I thought... I think the whole yeah. world's going to know pretty quick because every time Cy even doesn't die, the whole world Oh, I'm dying all the time, boy, according to... That and I'm sure it. Phil's... Uh, Cy, I've had friends of both of ours send me texts yeah. multiple times on two different occasions. Yeah. It's like, you know, is there anything we can do? I'm like, 
Yeah, you Stop can say hi me. to him. He's alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, drop by his house and talk to him. He's alive. Block, block me from your phone because don't you think? Because they're like, heard about Sal. Anything we can do. <laughs> Stop taking <laughs> Oh, man. Unbelievable. Jace on a roll. This has been a pretty fast four segments. Yeah. Like, have we is, done four segments? Yeah, we have. We yeah. guess. I wasn't sure we had actually started. For yeah. Real. That's, no. that's how we operate. Okay. Well, the funny okay. I hear part, y'all have an outline. We well, we have an outline. I mean, we study the Bible. I mean, our first we can do that if you want. segment is a little like wonky like this. No, everybody's just kind of like, what's it? Well, it's like we're wonky. Yeah, it's oh, okay. I embrace wonky. Like <laughs> wonky is what works for us. Well, our but. problem is we got my dad there. Yeah, and so when you you reach a point, he finally has a look on his face and he says. Are we ever going to get to the Word of God, the Bible, <laughs> which we all base everything on? Are we going to keep talking about a bunch of nonsense? Well, you know, you kind of, it's just kind of a mood. He doesn't typically smile when he visits our podcast. That's really not called no. yeah. the hard man. He's quick to get up and walk out, too. Oh, yeah. He said, are we done here? Yeah. Well, We're going to take a break. He goes, all right, see you later. Oh, we got one more, Mr. Yeah. Bill. He's like, we going to sit around talking about nothing? Are we going to pontificate the things of the Lord? But he laughs at himself. You know, that time that Willie did that, I don't know if you ever saw the impersonation that he did. We've played film. it on oh, this we played podcast. it. Oh, that right. was hilarious. And, and but my at, dad laughed about that at church. Okay, well, yeah. Okay. If you're a first time listener or whatever, he, he, Willie basically read uh, the church bulletin in Will and Phil's fire and brimstone sermon yeah. speech. <laughs> so yeah. he was like potluck dinner, you know, yeah. what you'd normally say pot potluck chicken dinner so willie's reading it like potluck chicken dinner this sunday everyone <laughs> is welcome all oh, chicken eaters you know who else uh, ordered chicken it was george washington james <laughs> he, man, willie was Madison. like hollering he was like chicken eater yeah <laughs> yeah it was, it was good uh, that's one of the funniest things willie's ever done I, well my favorite part is the only thing missing from this is goblin because if everybody really wanted to know what happened in the duck call room prior to duck dynasty this 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 has been it this is it. We would start about Sassy and 25 squirrels. He'd come in with some wild tail. Yeah. Then, then there's a 15 pound one. He'd make a few reads. We'd build a few duck calls. And then everybody'd be scared to go talk to Phil about whatever we didn't get done. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Eastern Europe minis- mission fundraisers. He even got the glasses right. For those who ordered barbecue chicken plates. Pick them up on your way home today. <laughs> We're talking about chickens for crying out loud. Uh, why is you that gotta always eat? That is. <laughs> Don't you? Uh, then order the chicken. Pick it up from the foyer and order it. It's still gold. You he don't said, just order chicken. He says. James Madison, yeah. George Washington, Thomas Jefferson. All chicken eaters. All chicken eaters. <laughs> <laughs> I'll only tell you this because I love you. Yeah, that, and that, my dad would do that. He would like get on, he gets on a run and he's like, hey, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> the best part of that one is you know where the foyer's at hey dude it's out that door <laughs> when uh, phil got on using dude yeah. or the does yeah. he still do that yeah he does oh yeah <laughs> he's yeah. still on dude hey dude hey dude but he uh he doesn't rant as much on the podcast every once in a while he does just not a few podcasts ago because it's interesting when you said this is your 300th well the well, next one i do which will be two days from now will be number 800 for <laughs> I hope we don't ever yeah. catch y'all. 800. Yeah. They got something special planned, but I was like, why? <laughs> y'all put out 800? A- is, there a, is there a number? <laughs> I thought, what is 800? Yeah. Is that? Is Can that- you think of anything? Off? I mean, at least 300, you got a movie. A <laughs> hundred, I got multiple things. Yeah, eight hundred, five hundred. Okay, maybe so. Eight hundred. Yeah, eight hundred is kind of like turning twenty six. Well, I mean, it just don't really mean nothing. I mean, somebody on that yeah. the significance I'm, of eight hundred. 
Well, could you eat a, a frosting covered Christmas tree cake? Because our, our no, fan but ain't, if you our got fan, any, if you got any them, uh, brown cookies with a marshmallow in the middle, uh, uh-uh. what? Oh, I ain't got none of them. Ain't got none. I'll but, tell you but what, I Amy, did do. Amy, our fan sent us okay. a bunch of box of snacks. I did. Uh, the Dodge pretzels did get open yesterday because I missed lunch. Uh, so. That's right. He missed lunch. That, the still most of the bag. I just snacked a little. He snacked. Um, I tell but you Amy, I, thank you yep. for the Christmas present. So i tell you what I did try to do is uh, I took a locust and poured honey on it just to because that's yeah, what John the yep, Baptist, and I thought, yep. I got to try it. I mean, he ate it. It's biblical. Yeah. <laughs> Made me gay. <laughs> did it? Maybe ruin the honey. Even with the honey, it just made like it, me gag. Hey, I, I that forced, sounds like it'd be good. No. Honey on a crunchy. No, this wasn't know. crunchy. No, he didn't well, fry, the actual he didn't fry this one. Mm. You know that year we had all the They look everywhere. crunchy. Yeah. <laughs> they look no, crunchy. They I look crunchy. I, well, the shell, I would eat that <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's over them, honey. It's them innards. Yeah. So. I'm yeah. not eating any of it. No, you know how they, they come out of their shell mm-hmm. and leave the shell? Yeah. Now, I can take a I can take a whole bunch of those shells, pour some honey, and act like a cereal, and go to town on it. I think that'd be good. But the actual whole locust, I couldn't eat it. Well, that's like them them uh, worms they get out of rotten rotten logs. The big grubs. Yeah, yeah them grubs. Yeah. I don't think I could eat that. I'd eat it. Why would you eat on, that? Unless you were in the Lion King. Well, it depends <laughs> on how many zeros you would have at well, behind a one. It depends on how hungry yeah. you are. If you're starving to death, I guess I'd eat well, some stupid. If bars. I gave you ten thousand dollars, would you eat one? Sign I'd me probably up. do it for that. That's what I'm talking about. I, I go a, up, I can throw I up eat, and get over it. I, I eat eat a sausages for this podcast, and I get paid way less, and that's basically the same thing. I, but if you eat a vine, a sausage, and a duck line, yeah. it, it, it's way better. Oh yeah, if you eat it oh, here. Yeah. Everything's better than a duck line. <laughs> yeah. It all depends on situation. A lot right. of that stuff. I hey, say, take a Woody. But for ten grand, I'd eat a whole bag of them. Girls. Yeah, hey, and it's your like, motivation. It's not yeah. whether you like yeah. it or not. It's, for ten grand, you're not going to find a lot of stuff. I ain't going to at least yeah. try. Yeah, I'm, to choke mm, down. Mm, okay. I can always throw up later. What'd you? Me, yeah, okay. What'd you make on eating hoghead cheese? I ate a whole loaf of hoghead. That cheese. would be rough, but hey, I do. If I ate the money. whole thing, he was going to give me five hundred dollars on the last bite. I threw up. Oh. So you were disqualified. Well, you it. I was disqualified, but Willie, out oh, of the no. kindness I, of his I'll heart, still you. gave me two hundred dollars. Nicest, a lawyer. nicest restaurant in uh, New Orleans. I'm puking in the corner. Oh, I, 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 I'd hired me a lawyer. That's funny. So he get, he said, "I'm gonna give you five hundred dollars." Yeah, whole thing without throwing up. Then you throw up, and he gives you two hundred. Yeah, it was a great boss. Attempted it. Uh, yeah. uh, it's a very Jace move because a lot of things can be solved for two hundred dollars. <laughs> I think that's the number. So, is that the number? That's the number to me. No matter what we're going to do, $200 usually works well. You know, it's funny. Whenever I was traveling with Willie, I always had $200 hidden in my backpack just in case. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I'm getting home or I'm getting somewhere. It's a magic number. And $200 will get me there. It's yeah. a magic What was number. the movie where that original idea came from? Valdez is coming. coming. Yep. I knew <laughs> Bert yeah. Lancaster. I don't so know. So if you watch the mo- you haven't seen it? Oh, no, you it? need to see this. How, how, how old are you? <laughs> 34. Yeah. I mean, this You is, haven't seen Valdez Val is coming? Valdez, you need to. I don't movie know night, yeah. Valdez is coming. Is you that will, the name of the movie? Yeah. yeah. It changed my life. Yeah. It made me have two. I mean, I wanted $200 for the first 25 years of my life because I $200 was something I was never going to see. It. <laughs> you know, but it changed. then I realized that, you know. Two hundred dollars will settle most things. That was on just about two weeks ago. And you got to remember, though, Johnny D started here before the pre prerequisites of Duck Commander yeah. were a thing. So, like, yeah. he didn't watch Outlaw Josie Wells. He didn't uh, watch Good, yeah. Bad, and Ugly. You're Once gone. upon a time in the West, yeah, you're Valdez gone. is coming. Yep. Hold on, but time out. I also didn't work here in the days where you just we got to watch as much TV. You had a TV in your office. Quit playing. No, quit. Yeah, quit I actually, playing. I actually sent several people out back, kind of when I was in charge for a few years, because I was like interviewing them. And I mean, you know, it was all duck call related. Then I was like, have you seen the outlaw Josie Wells? And when they said no, I said, go watch it and come back and we'll continue. That's right. Yeah. And we'll discuss this. That's what he told me when I started down there in duck call. He said, if you don't watch these 
like five movies. He said, you're not going to understand a thing about what we talk about in here. And he was right. What are the five? Valdez is coming. Yep. Outlaw Josie Wells, Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. Tombstone. One, Tombstone and Once Upon a Time in the West. Yeah. That's it. Hadn't so, seen a so, one of them. Because Valdez, okay. How do you, how do you everybody work? Everybody wanted to <laughs> I don't work here. Hey, one no, of the famous don't. lines. There we go. Yeah. One of the famous lines on Valdez is, is everybody's asking, who are you? Well, when you come down to it, I'll tell you who he is. He was the head scout for Custard of the 7th Army. So I was so, actually right so on. So look, he fought all the Apache Wars. Yeah. You know, he wasn't with Custard when he got slaughtered, but hey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you yeah. go. $200, though. Yeah. The whole movie's about $200. That's right, $200. An unfortunate incident of social injustice happened, and a woman was left a widow, and they basically shot the wrong guy. This happens in the first two minutes, so it won't ruin the movie. Yeah. 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 And so here is Valdez that says, you know what? This is just not right. Yeah. And because of prejudice and different things, nobody wanted to help this widow woman. You know, they so go, shot goes, the wrong guy. The guy is the wrong yeah. guy. It's a mix up, yeah. bad intel. Yeah. You know, they just rode up there and, and he had to, he killed him because the other people involved in he was chalking him out and yeah. the guy shot at him. Don't give him the details. Well, let me say it. Hey, and yeah. so he got a hundred dollars from the town. They could raise a hundred and they were gonna give to this woman. And there was another guy who basically owned the town who had all the money. Mm-hmm. Who had way more than a hundred dollars? A hundred dollars would have been like a penny, yeah. and he wouldn't give a hundred dollars. And he's well, like, "Oh yeah," he yeah. said, "You're going to give the hundred because yeah. I already got the hundred. You're giving me that hundred dollars. That that's what the whole movie about is. Will he get that two hundred dollars for this widow? Yeah, movie <laughs> changed oh, his life. Here's a oh, it's, and that's yeah, yeah, two hundred dollars. To this day, when I text Jace, I say, "Look, I got two hundred dollars. I need you to do this." He says, "Deal." Yeah, right. because to <laughs> me, look, hey, it's don't, about, even, don't even ask what that is. It's Just about deal. family and kids, and I do free things and all. But look, we got family to think of here. Yeah, we got kid. Two hundred dollars is a nice gesture. It can get you through a day. You still and look, it just should be the standard operating procedure for all deals, oh, especially it. the ones where you're you're getting done a favor. You're like doing somebody a favor. I'm not charging you, but you give me two hundred dollars. Yeah. I'm not going to ask for it, <laughs> but I'll take but, it. But if you don't, I'm going to send you a video of Valdez is coming and, he still and got say, it. hey, he I got 170. He's, He's a little short. I'm short. You, you need 30 more. <laughs> oh, you need 30 more. Uh, that's all I got. 270 ain't, 170 ain't going to do it. So see, if you had seen Once Upon a Time in the West, you would know that the opening scene there, he come up and he said, hey, do you have a horse for me? That's Charles Bronson talking. Yeah. And this guy's on the horse, and he says, ha-ha, looks like we're shy one horse. Yep. And Charles Bronson said, you brought three too many. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> two too many. You two. brought two too many. Yeah, you brought yeah. two too many. Now, they quit writing stuff like that years ago. And that also is in the first two that, minutes of the movie. That yeah. is the greatest yeah. writing. You know, here he is outnumbered. I don't know how many it was, yeah. you know, to one. He's outnumbered. And he's like. Where's my horse? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we shot one horse. <laughs> and then he bam, 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 and he said, "Nope, you brought two too many." They didn't realize that Charles Bronson possessed a certain set of skills, at that time. <laughs> and they were all right in this range. See, because here's what happened. Okay, he he kills the wrong guy, and then the ranger. Here comes all the spoilers. Well, no, no, I ain't gonna give it all. The ranger and his men. Okay, these are all bad guys. Yeah, okay. don't tell him the movie. No, no, side. I know. But hey, there's twenty. Yeah, twenty start out after D Valdez. Oh, we're back on Valdez. Yeah, yeah we, we don't jump plots. Yeah. So Charles Bronson, though, the next time it will affect you because the next time you hear a harmonica, look, you'll get start, ready. You'll, get ready. you'll start looking around. Yeah. You'll start in counting. real life right now. Yeah, the hair, the, the hair raises up on the back. You'll of start your counting. Neck. You'll start counting horses. That's right. right. That's right. Do y'all hear right. a lot of harmonicas on in everyday no. life? No, no. There's you know, but I, I do. I but, do. But hey, when you hear the sound of a harmonica, trust me when I tell you. <laughs> after watching the movie, okay, the hair on the back of your neck yeah. will will start tingling. Yeah. Because somebody fixed to die. Mm -hmm. I will <laughs> say, having watched Once Upon a Time in the West, unfortunately, it kind of goes downhill after like the first six minutes. <laughs> yeah, no, that's you really, gotta, you that's gotta. really the peak of I that I feel movie. like one of these movies y'all were talking about like 190 episodes ago, I was like, I'll bite. And like the first 10 minutes, I was like, 
I get oh, it. You got to give it. And then the oh. next 45, I was no. like, okay. No, look, but the scene before that is better than that. I mean, when that guy catches that fly, he really yeah. caught that fly in that gun barrel. Yeah. He caught a fly on a pistol barrel while they're filming this show. Yeah. And he put his finger. He put his finger on him. And, then stuck the barrel. He had big eyes. Fingers. He had yeah. big eyes because yeah. he quit buzzing and he, he peered his finger out from the barrel. And you got to realize you can see that it's loaded. Yeah. Yeah. But he wants to look in the barrel and see if Make the fly sure if he's is still, still there. there. And then when he realized he is, he just smiled. He smiled. <laughs> hey, look, he smiled. He smiled and shook it and it went. And you could hear. Yeah. So these are the guys that brought too, too many horses. <laughs> yeah. Hey, getting in well for them. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Ah <laughs> uh, well, Jace, we always close. <laughs> Thank you, got- you for coming one for episode three hundred. Oh, but we always close with a Bible verse. If you have one, pick you well, one. I'll out. throw it to you uh, if you have one that's on your mind as of late. If not, uh, well, I will look in the spirit of Christmas. Well, okay, like here we go. And, and family, so I appreciate y'all letting me inside promote our our Christmas special. Oh, I want to read this Luke twenty four and look. This is right after a. Uh, uh, an appearance of Jesus post resurrection where people didn't recognize him, these two guys. And they were at a table in verse 30 of chapter 24 in Luke. And it says, When he was at the table with them, he took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and began to give it to them. Verse 31 Then their eyes were opened and they recognized him, and he disappeared from their sight. And the reason I'm reading that is in that moment, Jesus declared that we can be a family forever. I mean, he was resurrected, yep. and they recognized him. And what did he do? He had this interaction. So in the spirit of Christmas, Jesus is Lord. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, That's thank, way you. It, boys. thank you for coming by. Episode 300 is in the books, y'all. Appreciate the love and support thus far, but we'll see y'all next time right here in the Duck Call Room. We're out. <laughs>